Hello everyone, so welcome back. Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can just provision Azure Data Factory instance. Okay, so there are different ways. Okay, how we can just uh, access the Azure uh, Data Factory service, right? So if you have a recently used, you can just directly go to the Data Factory, or else if you just go to the uh, Create Resource or All Services. Okay, so uh, so All Services. So under the uh, uh, visual storage not uh, databases analytics yeah so on the analytics you can just find this azure databricks okay so even in the integration as well yeah so in the even in the integration as well okay so in the integration you will be able to find data factory uh, or uh, analytics section also you will be able to find the data factory okay so the best way is of course we know so we can just search here like data factory right so let's go to azure i'll just go directly click here azure data factory okay so this is the page okay so we'll land in okay to create a new data factory okay so either you can just click on this create or this create this data factory okay i just click here create okay so uh this is the basic steps uh, right so we need to uh fill it okay so before creating any resource in the azure right uh so first is project details okay this is my subscription okay so if you have any other subscription you can just choose here okay let's create a resource group okay so i'll just create uh, uh rg uh df okay so uh so this the region i'll just keep it east uh, us okay so name of instance details uh i need on I need on instance i'll just give it okay and the version uh yeah so in the version it's very important okay so v1 is very old version okay so where we don't have any much features okay in the v2 is recommended you can see so i mean they are telling the v1 will be uh, duplicated soon okay so i'll just go for the v2 okay so now so if you have any git configuration you can just go ahead and just uh create it but uh, right now i don't want to uh add any uh, settings here okay i'll just only click on review and create okay so under the git configuration you can just uh check this uh configure git later okay so let's review and create so validation is passed let's click on create okay so deployment is succeeded okay so here you can see the deployment details even you can just download this okay okay so let's go to the resource yeah so here uh, you can find the all this uh basic uh tabs right so which uh you have already if you have used uh different azure uh services okay same as we have activity log okay so i am control tab okay so uh, of course the tags okay so under the settings we have a networking managed identities properties logs okay alerts okay so all the basic details can be accessed under this uh, uh under this uh, resource right and uh, here you can see so status now succeeded okay the main stuff is like of course you should know the location the status and the resource group name okay so uh, everything is good here okay so now let's go and uh, get started with this okay you can just click here like open azure data factory studio okay if you want to know more about the documentation you can just click on this okay so let's go ahead and click on this open azure data factory studio yeah so here uh so this is the page okay so we will land in okay if you are clicking the uh, azure data factory studio okay so here uh so we have a different options okay so whether to ingest the data or if we want to create a data pipelines or, or transform the data or if you want to configure the ssis right um so uh here okay so so we'll uh set up a code repository right now uh no need i'll just 
uh, cancel this out okay so here okay so if i just try to expand this okay so these are the uh, if i just expand this blade okay you can see like we have a different tabs here so this is under the home okay so where we right now here okay so from here also we can just create all the uh, pipelines okay if we want to uh, power query or data flow data set okay so all these things can be created from uh, this okay so by clicking on to this new okay under the home page okay next we have an author okay so under the author this is the main development area okay so where uh, the most of the data engineers spend right uh, so here um, uh, you can see like we have a pipelines okay uh, so if you want to create a pipelines okay so uh, this is what the pipelines okay so this is data set we don't have any right now pipelines right if you want to create a new pipeline we'll directly clicking on this a great new pipeline or if you have already template okay you can just try to uh, get that pipeline to template if you want to create a folder okay you can just try to create a folder here right so next we have a data set okay so right now we don't have any data set okay if you want to create it okay if you are so you can see like we can create a folders under the each sections as well okay so next we have a data flow okay so right now we don't have any data flow even you can just click on this and create a new data flow here right uh, so this is the power query okay so whatever you can you saw in the home tab you will be able to explore all the things in the author okay where is this is the main development area here right so next we have a monitor so from the name itself we can just identify we can just monitor whatever the pipelines or triggers we have created right so we can just monitor the uh, entire dashboard okay so uh, uh, the runs okay so triggers then the integration runtime okay data flow debug okay so even we can just monitor all the alerts and matrices okay which we are getting from the uh, from the pipelines right so this is the monitor tab right so next we have a manage okay so where we can just manage the all this uh, connections source control uh, uh, security right so uh, under the connections we can just manage this link services uh, integration runtimes and azure uh, uh, purview right so even the, uh, about the git configurations right so then templates crm templates all the things can be managed under this uh, manage tab okay so this is uh, about the dashboard exploration okay so let's continue our discussion in the uh, next video